A pair of flash fires. The events of My Hero Academia Season 7's Episode 8 center on Toya, Endeavor's eldest son, and his transformation into the ferocious antagonist Dobby. We are given a brief overview of Toya's past, including how he became obsessed with his quirk in an attempt to win his father's approval and how, when Endeavor's focus shifted from Toya to Shoto, who had a far stronger quirk, he became angry and snapped at both of them. While we watch Toya working on his oddity and asking his father to witness his development, Toya loses control of his flames, goes into a mental breakdown, and nearly burns to death when Endeavor doesn't come up. Under all for one scheme, Kudai Garaki, also called Doctor, saves him. After three years, Toya awakens to learn that he needs to have regenerating tissues sewn together and that he is no longer able to use his gift. Feeling devastated, he decides against joining All for One squad and returns home, only to find that his father's fixation with training Shoto has not faded and that his family has moved on. This turns into the tipping point, which gives rise to Dobby. Remaining imprisoned, the doctor describes how Dobby's body was supposed to last only a month before he joined the villains years later, alive and only kept together by his hatred for his father and the other heroes. Shoto is informed by Dabi that he cultivated his fire and grew stronger as a result of his insensitivity to pain following his unintentional self-immolation with the sole intention of exacting revenge. He says, my limits were removed by my dulled senses. Todoroki discovers that Dabi had been anticipating his death from the start as he begins to condense more and more of his heat while telling his tale. When his diatribe ends, that's when the actual fight starts. Dobby eventually lets go with his fire as he gets hotter and hotter. He fires directly at Todoroki in a subsequent strike, causing him to collide with a neighboring structure. At this point, Dobby becomes aware that the heat emanating from one of his palms is neutralizing. At last, Todoroki unveils the move he invented. I used the essence of flash fire to simultaneously create my left and right sides, with my heart at the middle. In a flashback, he tells Midoriya, the hot and cold blood circulate through my body and bring equilibrium to both sides. This is just him in a new move. Saying this, he uses the novel tactic known as Great Glacial Agur to counterattack Dabi. This causes a massive explosion that eventually freezes everything on the other side, including Dobby. The Review of the Episode This episode not only reveals Dobby's origins and the rationale behind his insane animosity toward his father and the heroes, but it also nearly perfectly mirrors Todoroki. Both brothers have come to terms with the fact that they are the product of an odd marriage, but they have quite different ways of coming to terms with it, one is destructive, while the other is constructive. Even though we're brothers sharing the same blood, we ended up so different, remarks Dabi. Simultaneously, we witness Todoroki ultimately discovering himself by his distinct method, Phosphor. Todoroki must execute this technique by using his left and right side simultaneously and in unison throughout his body. Through Phosphor, he comes to terms both literally and symbolically with his identity as the half-child. Previously, he had completely denied his fires out of his father's wrath. This is what I'm doing to come to terms with the fact that I was born into that family. With a smile, he informs Deku, Midoriya, it's my power. 